Welcome to V-Dump, coming to you this week from the Desert Bus Prize Mines. Why? Because we are property disasters, and I am a basement flood. Like what happened for real. See? They took our carpet away, and it smells like wet dog anus. Joining me this week is a leaky roof. Dodged a bullet this time, but I'm still in the pool. And a Category 5 Dooker? Is it stanky? Is it danky? It's all of the above. I don't think that's on the same level as leaky roof and flooded basement. That's because you've never been on the receiving end of the Category 5 Dooker. I have no comment. A West Virginia assistant prosecutor has been suspended after pulling out a gun at his office and terrifying his fellow employees by threatening to shoot plastic Halloween decoration spiders. As a prosecutor, shouldn't he be a little more concerned about obeying the law? Does West Virginia have a standing ground law when it comes to spiders? I mean, I imagine he would know. Beesh, he almost shot at a plastic Halloween spider. I'm not convinced somebody that smart has a good grasp of the law. No, no. Firearms are a perfectly reasonable way of dealing with childhood fears. I have shot many a clown myself. The arachnophobic prosecutor did assure his supervisor that the gun wasn't loaded. So why do you have it, then, I guess, is my question. Sometimes you just want to look hard in front of all them spiders. How else are you going to scratch your wee-wee if you don't have a gun? You can't put your hand down there. God told you not to touch it. I need to have two guns in order to go to the bathroom properly. I ain't a fool, though. They ain't loaded. They're like large, cumbersome chopsticks. Those things get at Panda Express. I'm frankly shocked that gun laws have gotten so lax you can just get a new gun at Panda Express. It's West Virginia. It's part of the A-combo. You could have that instead of an egg roll. Someone taking out a restraining order isn't inherently funny. But in Salem, Massachusetts, the self-proclaimed hereditary high priestess of witchcraft has just taken out a restraining order against the self-proclaimed best-known warlock in the world. Okay, to be fair, maybe it's just me, but I don't actually know who the best-known warlock in the world is. Is that my fault, or does that mean it's not working properly? Wait, hereditary high priestess? I was not aware that witches passed their titles down, like, through inheritance, like baronet or duke. Also, Salem, Salem, Massachusetts, New World, America, doesn't like the king, had the whole thing with the T about that, in fact. I thought we came to America to get away from that. And now you're telling me there's hereditary titles just flowing around? I want one. Or at the very least, it should be a meritocracy. I mean, I want a chance to be a witch. No, no, you have to be a warlock. Misandry! I will settle for nothing less than Baroness. Which is a sweet band, by the way. In case you're interested in the real facts of the situation, the witch says that the warlock is harassing her and making obscene phone calls. The warlock says that he's doing no such thing and that the witch is upset because his business is doing better because Salem is all about creepy tourism. Harassing phone calls? Dude, can't you cast, like, a hex? Isn't that what your shit's all about? This is why, despite the fact that he's the self-proclaimed most famous warlock in the world, we haven't heard of him. Can't even do a hex. I could probably do a hex if I tried hard enough. To be fair, I mean, we don't know who she is, so maybe his business is doing better. But based on this, I sure as hell am not going to shop there. Her name is Lori Sforza. She is the head mother of our Lord and Lady of the Trinacrian Rose Church. And she is 75. Sforza? She makes a really good racing game. Georgia authorities are trying to figure out how inmates at DeKalb County Jail were able to successfully film and post to YouTube a rap video of them with contraband in the jail. These new iPhones are amazing. Such good cameras. Duh, Graham. How are you supposed to look hard AF if you don't have contraband? Like my new rap single, I'm hard AF. I'm a hard motherfucker. Look at me now, brandishing a box cutter. Kathleen, you make a good point, but I mean, there are varying levels of what constitutes contraband in prisons. For example, Look how hard AF I am. Bish, do you know what AF means? The article kind of played it up by calling it a rap video. I was expecting, you know, any sort of choreography or editing, but I'm watching it and it's just like five or six guys kind of moving roughly on beat into what looks like a laptop webcam. Eh, so what if they're being investigated? Who cares? What's the worst that could happen? They're already in prison. What I really want to know is whose song 
they're like making this bad video to. But unfortunately, everybody involved from the reporting uh, at the television station to the commenting here is super white, and so I don't know whose song that is. Being white has never stopped me before. I've always been prisoner to a funky fresh flow. Why do you have that box cutter all the time, Kathleen? Oh, no reason. Sometimes you need it. And we're done! Yeah, everything's fine, and we're done now. Until next time, remember, there may be better sources for news, but they don't have this hat, which is an entire bison engulfing my head. Um, there was a note with it that told us who gave it to us, but then we had a basement flood. So, thank you, person who gave us an entire bison as a hat. Yay. Those were its hands, right? Does this look like shit? This looks like shit, right? It kind of looks a bit shit. All it's right. It's a bit shit. It's a bit shit.